this text, but I always say the best show for last. You ought to give God praise because now is your season. Now is your time. Now is your moment. You are looking at somebody and tell me it's my time now. I've been on the sideline long enough. I watch others long enough. I've been broke long enough. God tested me long enough. Now it's my time. I care. That's why I'm testing you. <laughs> I care. That's why I'm giving you this exam. You're not being tested. Jesus. Means you're not going anywhere. Jesus. And they say in verse 38, oh, Jesus. do you not care? Problem I had, uh, I'm reading this. And um, Peter will always be the spokesman. Somebody's talking to Jesus. It's Peter all the time. He always uh, boisterous and vocal. So I'm um, coming up on reading this text. And I always assume Peter said, do you not care? Peter is talking. And uh, I started reading it slow. And when I read it slow, it messed me up. It did not say Peter said, or Peter woke him up. The Bible says, they. It didn't say Peter woke him up. The Bible said, they woke him up. Apostle, does it matter if Peter woke him up or if all of them woke him up? It does matter. They included all of them. I would have been fine if Peter just woke him up. I've been straight if John just woke him up. I could handle it if Bartholomew just woke him up. But the problem is all of them woke him up. And if all of them are spending their time waking him up. The question is, who's steering the ship? If all of them are waking him up, then who's steering the ship? So that tells me nobody is steering the ship. He commanded them that we are going to the other side. And if we are going to the other side, all of them had to take turns steering the ship. Um, but when the storm came, they no longer believed they would get there. So they stopped steering the ship. Because I know what you said, but what I see doesn't match what you promised. So I'm going to take my hand off the ship. And something you got to understand, God is testing you to see, can you steer through the storm? He's testing you to see, can you steer through the storm? To steer means believe. When God told you some stuff and promised you some stuff, where you are doesn't match what God promised you. And if it doesn't match what God promised you, then you let the steering wheel go. Or by faith, do you continue to steer through the storm? That was seasons of my life. I didn't feel like pastoring. I didn't feel like preaching. I didn't believe the call of God that was on my life. But every time I grab the microphone, I'm steering. Every time I preach, I'm steering. Every time I come to church, I'm steering. And God is saying, how many of you today have a steering in your spirit? God, I don't see it, but I'm steering. I'm hurting sometimes, but I'm steering. The wind is blowing me to the left and to the right, but I'm steering. 
hearing. Do I have anybody in the house this morning? You really haven't steered until you steer through a storm. When waves are blowing, waves are hitting you. Wind is blowing, but yet I'm still steering because my soul, my soul has been anger in the Lord. COVID can't stop me. Disease can't stop me. Divorce can't stop me. Suicide can't stop me. Unemployment can't stop me. Because I got my hand on the wheel. And I'm letting God know I'm steering and praying. I'm steering and worshiping. I got my hand. Suggest no one was steering. If no one was steering, that means no one believed. No one believed. So I'm getting ready to get out of here. They were in the middle of the sea. And the storm came. They were in the middle of the sea. And the storm came. Jesus said, We're going to the other side. They didn't have a problem steering mm -hmm. before. But when the storm came, yeah. it's 12 of them. All right. You mean out of 12 of you? My God. Yeah. Jesus. Come on. Nobody Jesus. could keep the hand on the wheel. Jesus. You're taking turns doing this thing. You mean tell me out of all the friends you have, oh nobody could keep the hand on the wheel. All of them let it go. I don't care where this ship end up. I don't care where this boat end up. I'm tired of this wind. Just tired. I know the calling on my life is to go to the other side. But the moment you take your hand off the wheel, say I don't even care. Right now, Lord. I don't care. Because guess what, God? If you don't care, I don't care. If you don't care, I don't care. Have you ever gone through a season? And maybe you're in it right now. You just don't care. It's in the back of your mind. You said all those folks in chapter 3 who got healed and delivered. Who never served God. And all the serving you were doing. And you were the main one struggling. I just. I don't care. I don't care. So they woke him up. They get him up. All 12 of them. And Jesus said listen. Let me tell you something. I told you, you were going to the other side. Uh -huh. I didn't say you would die in the middle. Stop 
lure the waves will overcome and sink the ship. The worst thing you can do is stop moving. The worst thing you can do, church, in this season is stop moving. The devil wants you to stop moving. He wants you to be stagnant, but you got to have faith on the inside to keep moving, to keep steering, to keep going, to keep praying, to keep coming to church, to keep worshiping him. They that worship him, worship him in spirit and in Tell my people this. On a person's tombstone, you see their birth date and their death date. That dash is the middle. You know where you are. You know where you're going. But the problem is, it's the middle. You know, I was going to Cordelia, Georgia, using GPS. And those of you who have one, you know that they would tell you the time of arrival. But they don't tell you about the potholes. They don't tell you about the bad roads. They don't tell you about crazy drivers. They just tell you what time you should get there. And in, 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 in all of our lives, your life is defined based on what you do in the dash. He told them we we're going to the other side. But he didn't tell them about the storm. God is saying today, in order for you to pass the test, you have to manage your middle. Your middle. You have to manage your middle. All of us will have a middle. Some of us are middle aged. We have to manage the middle. Your life is defined not at the beginning, not at the end, but it's how you manage the middle. The storm came in the middle to show them what they were made of. Why the middle, Lord? Because it's in the middle you go too far to turn around. right now for those of us who said, Lord, I, I'm stuck in the middle. I'm having a hard time in the middle. But it's in the middle that defines who you are. Will you keep pressing? Will you keep moving? Will you keep steering? And I pray that what God has in store for you will come to pass. Come on, give God praise. Give Him praise. Come on, bless Him. Come on, bless Him. Come on, bless Him. Hallelujah. Lord, we bless you, we bless you. We honor you. We give you praise, we give you glory. With all his bow. Hallelujah. 
saying I hope I pass my exit exam but I've been graded and I'm going to leave saying I pass my exit exam because good news is you don't have to make a 100 to pass <laughs> you don't have to get them all right to pass may have failed in some areas, but my maturity says I passed the most of them. So God, I thank you right now that I passed this excellent exam. And Father, right now I'm praying those who are watching online, I'm praying for you. Those who are here, I'm praying for you. I'm praying right now that no matter how hard it gets keep your hand on the wheel and steer through your storm I'm praying because if all 12 had an opportunity to steer then all of them stopped steering that means they got influenced by the other ones who stopped. My prayer to you is, don't let nobody stop you from steering. Don't let nobody get in your ear to stop you from steering. Because when God judges us, He's not going to judge us based on what they told you. He's going to look at you dead in the eye. And I hope He tell us, well done. We can't give no excuses. But God, right now, give me a mind of my own that nobody can influence me to do anything I know I should be doing. But right now, Father, I pray, just put Gorilla Glue on my hand and let me hold on to that wheel. In the name of Jesus. And help me to manage my middle. It's a lot of stuff I'm going through in the middle. A lot of stuff I see in the middle. But my end is determined on how I manage my middle. And so we thank you, Father. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. Your head is still bowed. If you are here today, if you are here today, you don't have a church home and God put in your spirit, this is home for me. This is where I need to be to grow, continue to be fed, that God would take me to the next level. That should just raise your hand high. This is where I need to be. Or if you're online and you're watching, this is where I need to be. Please put it in the comment section. This is where I, I need to be. If you're here and you are not saved, I offer Christ to you. All you have to do is extend your hand. I want to receive Christ. And we'll go from there. I want to receive Christ. Maybe you're watching online, you're saying the same thing. Maybe you're on your couch. Maybe you're on your lunch break. I want to receive Christ. Please put it in the comment section. Hallelujah. Lord, we thank you right now. We thank you. And we just seal this prayer in your son Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Come on, give him glory, give him glory. Hallelujah. Yes. Yes. 
Amen. At this time, we're going to prepare our hearts to give. Amen. And be a blessing to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Um, those who uh, like to give online, the ways to give are on the screen. Amen. We give God praise for that. Um, and those of you who need an envelope, you will raise your hand and someone will assist you. Just raise your hand and someone will assist you. Hallelujah. Amen. We thank God for those of you who are tired of, amen, doing what is right. And we thank God for that. Amen. We give not grudgingly nor of necessity, but we are a cheerful giver. Amen. Amen. Yeah. We give cheerfully. We are giving cheerfully, especially in a pandemic. We are giving cheerfully. Amen. So we thank God for that. Um, those of you who already have your offering and you're ready to give, amen, you may come at this time. You may come at this time. Hallelujah. You may come. We thank God for your seed. Hallelujah. We thank God. We bless you. We bless you. We bless you. And we speak a hundredfold return. God praise for yourself and for them. Um, listen, the reason why I do say that is uh, during the pandemic, a lot of people, a lot of businesses have been closing. A lot of churches have been downsizing. Buildings been foreclosed. But I thank God because of your help, we've been still growing, still doing good. Nothing is lacking. Amen. We're still building in the pandemic. And it's because of you and your faithfulness. So we definitely thank God for uh, you passing that test. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Listen, I'm telling you, um, the best time to give is when you don't want to give. Amen. When the devil telling you you shouldn't, you shouldn't give, it's a test. And when you give in a dry season, when you give in a messed up season, watch how God bless you. I'm telling you, some of you have been tithing the entire time, but all of us who've been giving, tithing, supporting in this pandemic, just watch and see. Mark my word, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. But what I hear in the spirit, I'm telling you. Isaac sown in a barren land and he reaped that same year a hundredfold. So I speak that over your life. Some of you been challenged, some of you gave sacrificially. I speak that over your life that in this same season God is going to bless you. Why? Because what you make happen for God's house, he'll make happen for your house. Come on, give God praise. Let us all stand. We're getting ready to 
um, this mix. We give God praise for our visitors. Come on, give them a rainbow word. Welcome. Amen. We bless God for those who are not here but are still watching online. We give God praise uh, for them and we definitely thank God. Um, let us pray. Father, right now in the name of Jesus, we thank you for today. We thank you for what our eyes have seen and our ears have heard. Yes, God. We thank you, Father God, for a wonderful worship experience. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you right now, Father, even for those who are watching online. Continue to bless them, Father. Thank you, Lord. We pray for this word right now, Father, that you would keep it in the cabinets of our hearts, thank you, Jesus. that we may utilize it day by day. Yes, Lord. We pray right now, Father God, for this offering right now. Bless it right now. Bless those that gave. Bless those that are given sacrificially. We pray right now, Father God, for a hundredfold return. And as we leave this place, but never your presence, all is well. That's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, amen. Tell somebody, you passed that test. I passed that test. 